So event 81 coming up on the track now will be the girls under 13 medley final. Not too many more events to go and we are running absolutely to schedule if not a few minutes ahead of time which is very very efficient of Little Athletics Victoria and the event has been put on today. So in lane one will be Northern Country Region. Lane two, Berwick. Lane three, Geelong. Lane four, Caulfield. Lane five, Knox. Lane six, Mornington. Lane seven, Bendigo. Lane eight, Keylor to round out the field in the under 13 girls. They might just be waiting for something on the track. The starter just isn't quite ready yet. They might be waiting for a little bit of time to catch up, actually. So yeah, it's probably a good idea, Michael, not getting too far ahead. Whilst there's a couple of minutes to spare here and there, um, you get too far ahead, then you've got athletes waiting on the side of the track that are you know, in anticipation of getting on. Um, but yeah. I think you'll find that if it's a couple of minutes and all the competitors are there, they will start it. So it's up on the uh, start now on the stand, so we should see something happen. Ooh, and a bit of a false start from someone. Could have been Beric in lane two there, unless there's something that we didn't see at the top end of the field. Yeah, starter is having a word to the athlete from Berwick. It'll just be a warning at this stage. So Northern Country Region, the team made up of athletes from the smaller centres within that region who couldn't make a team themselves. And the girls are underway in this under-13 medley final. Keylor with a quick start. Mornington just to the right of the screen looking dangerous as well. Caulfield got a clean changeover just behind the discus cage and they are running a good second leg in the back straight. We see Knox coming into view now and Bendigo has been there the whole time in between those athletes. Northern Country Region getting a clean change away as well in lane one. Geelong is there. We haven't mentioned them yet, but Caulfield looks to be the best of them so far. Mornington just on their outside and I've Got a sneaking suspicion there might be a fast 400 meter runner in this age group coming up to finish with. I could be completely wrong, but I know Mornington has a couple of good 400 meter athletes. I, I'm, I'm suspecting it's one I'm thinking, but I'm actually thinking the athlete, yes. I yeah, think it is. is the one I thought it is. <laughs> Declan, Declan Tanner. Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> she is a fast, fast athlete. Plenty of endurance, and it is going to be hard for anyone to beat her over this final 400 meter leg. But the athlete from Caulfield is going to try and do her best as she looks over her left shoulder, almost thinking, well, am I going to catch Declan or am I going to try and hold on for Silver here? They'll do her absolute best to charge towards that last lap. But Declan Tanner, she is still very young in age, but such a great athlete with many races experience under her belt. As we see Knox making a charge for Caulfield, moving into second place now and passing her on the bend with a bit of authority. Declan Tanner from Mornington just extending her lead into that final straight. Geelong coming up behind Caulfield and Knox as well. They'll make a challenge for the minor placings here in this under-13 girls medley event, but it is all Mornington here at Casey Fields Athletics Track. They'll take out the gold medal in this event. So Mornington, Knox, Caulfield hangs on for third position, which is great. That is such a strong run, all race. Geelong for fourth. Bendigo for fifth. Sixth was Northern Country Region. I think Keeler was just snuck in before Bendigo. Keeler was just in there. I was trying to see who that was. And Berwick. It's actually 